Hey guys, my name is Choyun Zara and today I'm going to show you uh, again how to import uh, 3D uh, Super Smash Bros uh, models in 3D Max 2009 or whatever else you have. Now, as I showed you in the previous video, you're going to have to download your um, Autodesk 3D Max. I chose 2009 64 bit I have because I have Windows 7 64-bit system and you're also going to need to download AIS converter that converts MDL mo models no, PA key models to DAE models which can be opened with Collider which is also another thing you can download is a plugin for 3D Max called Collider Max Free it has the versions of um, 3ds Max 6, 7, 8, 9, 2008, 2009. Now, <clears throat> you're also gonna have to download your uh, Super Smash Bros. model models. I got the whole folder of everything I want. I deleted some things because I thought they were useless. They were they were burning a lot of size in my computer, so I kept only Zelda, Wolf. Xerxes, Samus, Snake, Sheik, Samus, Pit, Moth, Lucario, Link, Ike, Ganon, Fox, and Falcon. Now, let's start by one, one by one. Let's say that right now I want to convert Link. Now, I should put in the link in the description a link uh, to download Brawlbox, which is this program right here. This can help you find the textures in the model and also edit it um, normally, but not so cool actually. Here it is, is the environment. Okay. So then, I just to do links model. Here are all the textures. And here's the MTL0 model object. I'm not going to be using this one. Now, I'm going to convert the link, his normal color model, to select the PAK, PAC model pack, like Pac Man, <laughs> and run it to AIS uh, model converter. Then you should have two files <coughs> new. Uh, you should have F F I T, which is fighter, the name of your fighter, <coughs> and S C D for shield, and the normal one. I'm just gonna use the normal one. So here it goes, and okay. So now I have a complete model, DAE model, with all of its textures. Now let's run it on 3ds Max. Now if you don't know how to um, do the models, how to find the model textures, you're going to have to um, open up your file. You should show this tree up. With the model, and the model of the shield, and the textures, texture data one, uh, 0. And over there you have all the textures, you just right click, export, and you export in whatever you want. I'm not exporting that because I already have it. Now, you go to Autodesk 3ds Max, I don't know which version you use. You should first install Collada 3D. Sorry about that. Wait. Okay, so here we are to um, 3ds Max environment. This is what we we will be using. So now, go file, import. As you go to your folder where you last put your DAE model, which in my case is my documents link. Here it is. Open.
but make sure that once you put import, it says Colada D A E Colada. Yoshi must have a auto disk Colada, but I don't trust this one, so I'll just import it the other way. Let me just test how it does with the import. The already have one. Okay. okay. Okay, the way I said it's ruined, so that's why you should use the Colada um, import and export port uh, plugin that I, always, that I just put. Import units, import UP access, okay, and there you go, you got your bro model imported. That's really the most part of the job. Now, if you want, you could just leave it that way and go to the wireframe mode and edit the textures by ju the bones. By selecting one of the bones, then choosing rotation, transport the position and rotation, the scale, and whatever else. Anyway, so here he is, but he's all ugly because it looks blue. It's cold, probably. Now, anyway, we go to the material editor. So it has a little pop up window with the little balls. Now, you go to where you save your textures. Select one of them. I'm gonna first try this one, which is some parts of his body. I uh, know. And you put it on one of the balls. I just have the photo of this here. Just have all these options. Now you're gonna go to blend basic parameters, and over here where it says ambient and diffuse, right next to the diffuse you should have a little M, a button with an M, which is map. And one I don't understand what that does. Here says angle. The U, you change it from 0 to 180 degrees. Press center, should be okay. Now, then you, t you drag the, um, the material that you just imported and you paste it on one of the things you know that is definitely going to sit in. I just tried the shield and succeed. Success. Woohoo. Shield again. You can also open up the file to see what other parts can be imported. For instance, his shoes, some parts of his things, um, his hair. For example, let's try to do his hair. There we go. He automatically did some of them. Cool. Very cool. Anyway, we put them over here. Example. Lots of other parts you can put them. So the bags at the back. So most of the parts are already imported. Did you do the same thing with the rest of them? Let's try to do it quite fast for you. Don't get tired. Most of the parts will be imported by themselves, so you won't have any. Oh, she! Sorry about that. My dumb brother just came in. Now, we proceed to where we were. If some parts are not correct, uh, not the uh, the appropriate textures. Once you put them, we have some strange things that won't look at all. Like the uh, correct texture, the way it should be. Now, next texture, it's his hat. Weird. Um, 180, enter. Boom, there you go. This is basically the most of the parts. Still looks a little bit blue because he's afraid. Anyway, you can actually play around and do a lot of things. 
Let him just make his face because it looks ugly. As I said, this video is a continuation of the first video that I inputted. I'll probably have it deleted because it's totally dumb. And I uh, didn't help you a lot, I believe. Um, at the first video, I just showed you the basic things about how to import them. Right now, on Notepad, kind of ugly. But I hope this helps you a little bit more. More than the rest of it. As you can see, the most of his parts are already done. It's actually texturing himself, like dressing himself up. I don't have to actually put them in a lot of places. Sometimes he'll do it automatically. So this is the cool thing about 3ds Max, and that's why I recommend you using this editing uh, 3D editing program. It's cool, very cool for users, even for beginners, even for experts. It's the best thing that can ever be found to download, to buy. Even you can use it to for your work. For example, if you go out, uh, once you grow up, for example, you may be able, you may use it to for your job. Well, anyway, once you have finished with the uh, model editing with the uh, textures. You can go up to one of the wireframe editing modes and edit his movements with the bones. For example, I got this here. I can rotate. That's probably a very cool part because you can make him do a very sick things sometimes. I've never done such thing because I'm not sick anyway. I'm not gonna be teaching you how to make him animate, how to make him do different sort of stuff. Now, one thing I have to mention is that once you import him, some of the parts may not be included. For example, one small detail that I noticed is that here he has an extra sword. He also has an extra shield. Now, these are things that can be noticed because he does sometimes movements They are uh, require him to put his sword back and put his shield back. Also, I have to um, put up his size because it looks still ugly. Anyway. So, that. Um... Let me pull his eyes. Now, I want you to tell me what should I choose. No, nah, I'll just choose. Sorry about that. Looks like I just finished tor uh, the torrent download. That's better. Now he looks like the improved model of Link in Super Smash Brothers. Oops. Forgot a little thing here. Excuse me. Won't take long. Once you have learned this, you can watch other tutorials on 3ds Max which can help you with the uh, animation. Like you can learn how to make him do different of movements and different of stuff. Create videos. Improve quality of videos because I saw some videos that had models that weren't really expert. Now, I have to say that Super Smash Bros. Brawl has the uh, best models ever on creating... Uh, ever created. The uh, polygons are really advanced if you see the wireframe mode you could understand what I mean. The polygons are too many and you cannot understand if it's human or fake. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Please. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching.